Welcome to the North Downs Way. Uh, my name's Ultra Plodder, and I'm going to be running a section of the North Downs Way from Gradley Hill to Box Hill, uh, not Box Hill, Botley Hill. Um, basically, I'm doing this because. I'm running the North Downs Way 50 and 100 this year um, and I think I had this idea last year but obviously didn't have a camera was to film different sections of the route because there are some people that won't have the opportunity to uh, run the North Downs Way before they uh, run the race um, so I figured if I can upload some stuff onto YouTube uh, of different uh, of the route and any tricky points or junctions or anything like that then that hopefully would prove useful for people so uh, without further ado I'm going to uh, start running okay this junction you just want to follow the trail over don't worry about going any other way just, there's no signpost but it's fairly obvious again here straight on, avoiding the mud if possible. As per the sign straight over, there's probably had there's probably more walking in this than you would expect. Uh, I'm coming off injury and not quite up to fitness. Um, and yeah, my plan is to do a reasonable distance today, so I just don't want to burn out too early. And it's a nice day, it's not too cold, so just enjoying being outside. Okay, you can go down here. Technically, North Downs Way is here. Really doesn't add much either way. But for the completionists in you, this is the North Downs. Okay, so here we're at Gravelly Hill. As you can see, M25 in the distance. I think, yeah. Um, So, the checkpoint last year was just there, just over there. Um, I've been lost here before by taking a wrong turn and misreading the map and going off up the road. Um, actually, what you want to do is just carry straight on in between those two and the continues. Not, so not too difficult to see in the winter. In the summer, however, when there's leaves and shit, it kind of gets blended in and disappears. So, uh, yeah, just carry straight on. Splits off in two directions. You want to go down this hill. Straight on. Fork in the road. Take the right hand. Okay. I almost missed it. It's how easy this is to do. Uh, signpost. Don't do what I was about to do, where you head down running and go straight on. You want to go down the stairs or steps uh, or down the hill if it's not too muddy. And there's some more steps. Yellow sign on the post, straight on. Okay, here, turn right. This is the most disappointing and annoying part of my race last year. You don't want to go straight on. However uh, enjoyable that casual, gradual downhill looks, it's not the right way. And it's very, 
if you head down and just enjoying running, it's very easy to miss this sign. So up there, you can see it, hopefully. Um, you don't want to carry down the, uh, the road. You're going to take a left at this post and follow the trail. If you go down the road, you'll end up at a roundabout and you just literally have to turn back and run up the hill, which is exactly what I did. Straight on. Um, the sign's there, uh, basically it's just indicating to go straight over. Um, so you don't want to go down the road, that will lead to misery because you'll have a massive distance to make up again. So you want to go through this little fence and up this horrible hill. Off to your right. That's not good, is it? We should stop tapping. Through the fence, gate or whatever you want to call it. Okay, we can go over the road, straight back onto this muddy, right. muddy trail through the gate. Homemade energy gel. Apples, pears, sugar, salt, a bit of water. That's good. Uh, signpost faded. <laughs> um, we go up the road for a bit. Uh, then off following the balloon sign. So parallel with the road. Oh yeah, so we go right, you end up following North Downs in the Waldingham countryside walk. Oh. Here we go. I think I just No, okay.